Hi everyone, Coach Steve here. When beginning your training in historical martial arts, it's important to build good fundamentals. In this series of three videos, we're going to show you our four quadrants cyclical drill that you can use to build a good foundation for beginners and act as a basis for variants for more advanced practitioners later on. The very first step to using this drill is first perfecting the cuts. I begin with wrath and I throw my descending cut into a long point guard with a passing step. I want to make sure I identify long point because this is the point of force transference into the target. Very important. Once I reach long point, I want to transition up into almost to an ox position, rotate the cut around to the starting position of my next cut, and throw a descending strike from the upper left quadrant. Again, taking a step with each cut. Once I've completed this, I want to cycle the pattern. Hey you two, you like what you see? Come join our free Discord server. You can chat with like-minded sword enthusiasts from around the world. Or maybe you'd like to join one of our online classes. Check out the links below. The next thing I'm going to want to develop is going to be the defenses. Starting in a neutral posture with my legs bent, I raise my sword slowly up into my open ox position, making sure that my hands are higher than the tip of my sword and that the sword crosses the line and meets the oncoming blow on the middle of the blade. Once I've reached this position, I want to bring my hands down to about sternum height, step back, and come across to my crossed ox position. Once again, making sure that my hands are higher than the tip of my sword so that it meets the oncoming strike. I can then take a step forward and reset the action and practice a few times on my own. Now that we've practiced the attacks and the defenses separately, let's put them together and do some solo training. When combined, you will now perform two cuts with two steps forward, followed by two guards with two steps back. As you practice, you will want to focus on good footwork, proper steps, and strong body structure. Make sure to use handshake grip to strike and hammer grip to defend. I can perform this cutting sequence from a number of different positions, either using passing steps, replacement steps, or even from a seated position, and it is still beneficial, especially if you're recovering from an injury. Now that solo practice is out of the way, let's have a look at this with a partner. For this drill, one person will perform the cuts while the other will perform the defenses. Once done, both partners will switch roles and the one who is attacking will become the one who defends. At first, it will be important to do a set number of repetitions, such as 10 slowly, with emphasis on good stable footwork, blocking with the middle of the blade, proper guard positions, smooth cutting actions, and good body structure. Once the drill is polished, it can be done on a timer at a more robust pace to really get the heart rate up. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Ring that bell. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do this without you. And remember, if you don't put in the training, you won't get the result.